Hey guys, welcome to Pixel Reflect. In today's video, I will show you how to force HTTPS on WordPress. This is important to ensure your visitor's interaction with your site is never done via the insecure HTTP protocol. For instance, I have here a fresh WordPress website with SSL enabled. The website is already running on HTTPS. However, I still can access it via HTTP if I want to. That's why you see the not secure warning on Chrome. Aside from the security concerns, this can lead Google to flag your content as duplicate content. Thankfully, this is very easy to fix. I will show you exactly what you need to do. First, you need to update your site URLs. From the admin dashboard, go to Settings, General, and update the WordPress address and site address options like this. Now you need to edit the htaccess file. This might sound complicated but I promise you it's not. Just follow along. If you have access to cPanel, open the file manager and navigate to the root folder where WordPress is installed. If you are unable to find the htaccess file, make sure to enable the show hidden files option from the settings. Right-click on this file then click Edit. Copy the code from my website and paste it at the very beginning of the htaccess file. Save changes. To check if this works, try to visit your website via HTTP. As you can see, it automatically redirects me to HTTPS. If you don't have access to cPanel, you can use a plugin to edit the htaccess file which you can delete afterward. From your WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins. Add New. Search for htaccess and install this plugin here. Click Edit htaccess file. Click I understand enable the editor. Now copy this code and add it at the beginning of the file. I will leave a link in the description. Save changes. Alternatively, you can edit the htaccess file via FTP. You can use an FTP client like FileZilla to do this. Open FileZilla and add your FTP access details then click Quick Connect. Navigate to the root folder of WordPress. Right-click the htaccess file and click Download. Now open the file using any code editor. Then add this code at the very top. Link to the article in the description. Save changes and upload the modified htaccess file to your website.
choose to overwrite the file. That's all. Now to wrap things up, if you don't want to edit files manually and prefer to use a plugin instead, please check my article. I already included a guide on how to force HTTPS using a plugin. Also, if after migrating to HTTPS, you have a mixed content error which basically means that some of your site's images or files are still being loaded via HTTP. My article also includes a quick guide on how to fix it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.